SmartSuite's calendar view is one of the best ways to keep track of the busy schedules of your team. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, a SmartSuite implementation partner. We're going to use a project management example, and I'm looking at my tasks. And for each of these tasks, I have an estimated project length, which might have a start date and or an end date. And I want to view this on a calendar. So I'm going to open up my views here, and I'm going to create a new view for calendar. We'll just call it calendar view for now. And when this opens up, you can see we already have some dates on here because this is pulling the data that's on that grid view automatically. There's no syncing between views. All of that data just automatically shows up. And we can change how this displays on here. So if I click on these date fields, it's pulling from estimated project length. But you could actually add multiple different date fields for each of those records. So maybe you have a start, a midpoint, an end of a project. You can display different date fields. We can also add other calendar views, which makes this really powerful. So in this case, I'm looking at tasks. What if I also want to be able to show their related projects and the go live dates of those projects? If so, I can click to add other calendars and I'm gonna choose from my existing ones that I have. And for projects, I've got my project go lives. So suddenly that pulls that information in. Now that blue color is a little bit too similar for my like, so let's change that to purple. There we go. Now we're able to see data from two different calendars. That's coming from two different apps, which is what makes this so powerful. All right, we can also turn on and off weekends. We're not working on the weekends, so let's turn those off. That condenses my view a little bit here. Now, of course, this is all interactive, so we can look at this as days, as weeks, as months, years, however we want to be able to take a look at it. We also have a list view. Let me just show you here. So in this case, I've got some tasks that are by hour that I'm showing, and so maybe I want to take a look at that down to the individual week, or let's go to the day. Let's look at that in a list view. Here's my upcoming tasks sorted as kind of a schedule agenda type view. So that makes it really easy to be able to interact with that information. Now you'll notice that we have this nice little indicator here. This task is overdue. This one's already complete and checked off. This one's due today. And so we can have that information contextually. We can click to open up a record and view more information about it. So we don't have to navigate to other views all of that information is right here. Now, of course, we can do things like adding filters. So maybe we say, hey, if a task is already complete, we don't wanna view it on the calendar, we could do that. Another thing that we could do is add our own spotlight. So maybe we would say, hey, in this case, if the priority is critical, then we want to change this color and display that as that cherry red so we get some additional visual context. What should we do if we need to change our dates around? Well, this is really easy. So in this case, maybe this date needs to shift up a date. The client asked for something to be done faster. Boom, we click, we drag and drop that. Or what if we find out that this is going to take longer to complete? Well, now look, we can just drag that out and we can change those timelines. We can shift them around all with a nice drag and drop interface. If we need to create a new task, we can do so by simply clicking on the date that we want it. It's going to pop this open. We can give it a name here for sample task. And this is automatically pre-populating that date. So then when we save it, it's going to show right on that calendar, right where we want it to. If we need to do scheduling or capacity planning, we can open up our record listing here, which shows all of these records and it makes it really easy so that we can just drag and drop these exactly where they need to go on the calendar in order for them to display.